How about we do an easy furniture modeling this time? This simple piece will go smooth in your interior and can be done with ease for beginners. So if you're into some basic modeling, like the video and subscribe, cause you're in for a treat. You can also get the model for free from the link down below. So without any further ado, let's roll. Start with a new scene, clean it up. I have the keys showing here for you to get what we're doing. And let's see how we can model this. Go with a plane, rotate it around by 90, then move it in edit mode while holding control to make the mass center at bottom. This way we scale it easily from the ground level. Press N to change the dimensions, something around 80 centimeters in width, around 70 to 75 in height, 40 centimeters for the depth, and you can adjust as we go. Now in edit mode, hit Control R to add a cut, then with Control B as bevel, we make it into two edges with even spaces to the corners. The side edges need to go outside a bit, around 0.4 as we said from both sides, then we select the corner ones and bevel them to make it curvy. If the bevel is not going even on both sides, you need to apply scale in object mode from Control A menu. So do that, bevel again, and use the mouse wheel to increase the segments for smooth curves. Now we can drop on this a solidify modifier for some thickness, fix the numbers if needed, then apply it to the mesh. A bevel modifier is also needed to get rid of the sharp edges, so add one and increase the segments level in it until it fits. You can, in object mode, shade smooth the mesh with the right mouse button menu and continue to the next part, which is the drawers. I will first add a cut on this mesh, hit P to separate it from the mesh, maybe move it up a bit for second, and in edit mode, delete the backside and leave only the front. You can of course copy it before the solidify if you want to not go through the delete process. I can in edit mode close the shape and fill it into a surface with the F key. The bevel is harsh on this one. We can turn it off for a second just to place the mesh in place. Then once we do that, turn on the bevel again and try the numbers around. Might also need to uncheck the camp option for more control on broken mesh. Because we fill an edge loop with many vertices, it's a no big deal. You just need to work it around sometimes. To make those top and bottom pieces around the drawer, you can copy the top face, separate it from the mesh by hitting P, and give it a thickness with extrude, then copy it to the bottom side once you're done. You can add some cuts with Control R to the drawer middle piece. Three is enough for two drawers, and then bevel those three cuts and extrude the resulted faces along normal to carve it. For the drawer handles, you can look online for shapes or do from your mind. A simple cylinder with some extrusion can do the job. We can empty this shape by connecting opposite faces with the bridge command using edit mode face selection. The options are yours to explore.
The mirror part at top is just a cube. Give it a decent size, place it above the drawer a bit, and maybe make it curvy or go with sharp edges. But since we're rolling with a smooth vibe here with curvy shapes, a curvy mirror should go nice. Extrude the mirror to give it some thickness, and inset it to inside with the I key to make the mirror's frame. We can also, while working on the mirror in edit mode, add a cylinder piece and scale it to be the leg for the mirror. You can work on details for this, but I don't think it will appear much. The chair part can also be done with a cylinder, so add one, scale it to fit from the front, maybe cut it from the bottom to make it of two pieces, like metal on the bottom, and above that will be leather or fabric, which looks fine by the way, especially with gold shiny metal. To finish the chair, we can select the top edge or any edge you need, copy it with Shift D in edit mode, separate it by hitting P, then we turn it to a curve from the object menu. This way, we give this ring edge a thickness with the curve geometry settings, and you can after that turn it back to mesh and join it with the chair using Control J. And that's much it for the modeling. I won't go through the material process. The mirror is a simple glossy shader with zero roughness. The remaining are mostly free from the kit library, and here are the names for it. And again, you can grab this model with the materials from my shop for free. So enjoy. See you guys next time. Remember to like and sub for more dope stuff. And until next time, stay sharp. Goodbye.